Good morning, marine biology class. This is Mr. Bennett, and we are going to today talk about um, otoliths. And you may remember back in the beginning of the year when we were um, studying otoliths, we studied them for a different reason. You might remember going through these booklets and identifying different fish otoliths. And you remember there are these little bony structures like this. And um, we use them to help figure out what a seal ate. We were pretending we had seal scat and we used the different shapes. Now, to this time, we're going to use otoliths for a different reason. We're going to use them for um, looking at the fish's age and growth. And it's kind of like using tree rings on a tree. Um, so let's take a look at some of these real close up here. So you probably know that like when you if you want to know how old a tree is if you cut it if you section the tree you can look at and you can see the rings and you can count the rings that tells you how old the tree is if you assume that each ring equals a year so this one would be about 12 years old or something like that then another thing that you can do is you can take um, a vertebra from a shark or a ray i think this is from a bat ray and you can probably see the rings here and you could somehow turn determine the um by counting the rings, how old this bat ray was. I think it was the bat ray. Um, so that, that, that works. The vertebra seems to work with elasmobranchs. But when you have a bony fish, we're going to use otoliths. So this is an otolith from a white sea bass, a real big croaker. It's a big otolith. Some of the otoliths that we used earlier in the year were pretty small. You might remember them. These are otoliths from white croakers that you guys actually helped extract way back, I think, in September. So, now, let's pretend that this is an otolith from a fish that you extracted from the fish. And let's remember, I don't know if you remember this, but the way to get an otolith is to take your fish and you take um, a knife and you carefully cut them right cut the head open right back here and split the head open. We did this. And then you find the otoliths. So let's pretend we just removed an otolith from a fish. And I know this is way bigger than a fish otolith, but you'll see what I'm doing. And then, now you can't really see the rings in this otolith. So what you do is, just like with a tree, you cut the tree, you cut the otolith. So if you take some sort of a saw and you cut the otolith, and then, now the section of the otolith, you can see has rings. So you want to know how old this fish is? Just count the rings. You go one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, about nine or ten years old this fish would be. And so, so really what you're doing is you're taking the otolith and you're cutting it right down the middle. And then if you look at the cross section, maybe the cross section of the otolith looks something like this take this and flip it on its edge just like we flip this cut it open and flipped it on its edge then you would be able to count rings same way so now, what I want to do is kind of pretend that we have some fish and here are some fish we'll call them uh, bluefish. So these are bluefish. And I'm going to call them greenfish. Greenfish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take each fish and we're going to measure each fish in millimeters. Then we're going to remove the otolith. And here's the otolith. And we're going to count the rings on the otolith. Okay. So we'll do that with one. Do that same thing, measure it, record the otoliths, the number of rings, and then let's say we did that with a few fish here. This is five fish, so we have one with one ring, 120 millimeters, and so on. So what you want to do now, obviously, is to graph these points. So here's what we'll do. We'll go this one, is one year old, about 120, out here. Isn't that nice that somebody's sawing right now? Hopefully you guys can hear me. 
And we have three years old here. 240. This is 300 here. 400. So 240 would be about here. And then 5, 330. And 6, 360. And 9, 400. So, next thing you do is not just connect the dots. We want to draw a line of best fit. In this case, it's not really a line, is it? It's more of a curve of best fit. So you would go, let's see. And so you can see that's called the growth curve of this fish. So the growth curve of the green fish is represented by this curve here. And a couple of things that we could learn from this are if you look at the rate of growth or the slope of this curve, it's much steeper here than it is over here because the growth rate is fastest when it's young. And then as it gets older, the growth rate tends to slow down. So fast growth, slow growth. Now that is a lightning fast lesson on using otoliths to study the age and growth of fish. And what I'd like you to do after watching this video is to go ahead and print out this lesson and then I would like you to graph these data and then just answer a few questions. Okay? So, Thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.